coming at you live from the dungeons. It's Tech Support with Tony. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. I want to go over uh, auto changeover on our thermostats. This is a call I just took. Questions about how to set up the auto changeover feature. Auto changeover is a wonderful feature that allows the thermostat to switch itself between the heat and the cool modes automatically without any user input. However, this has to be properly configured and set up for it to work correctly. This feature is available on many of our thermostats, um, model 3020 and 3220, it's on the 5020, 5220, also on our 6000 series, 6100, 6300 and so on. Feature also is on our Wi-Fi thermostats, 7205, 7300, 7305, 7320, also on our wireless thermostat model 7500, and uh, 4000 series 4030, 4235. So this feature, like I said, allows you to set up the thermostat so it can sense the room temperature rise or fall and switch itself to the heating or the cooling system as needed. But this is not enabled by default when you get the thermostat. You will need to go into the installer setup menu to enable this feature. On uh, a model like this, this 5020, to get into that menu we press the return and the down arrow at the same time. After you hold that for a few seconds it will get into the menu. And as you can see that first item is indicated as residential. So we need this to be in a residential configuration. The other option would be commercial and commercial doesn't use auto changeover so we want to make sure we're in residential. Uh, and then if we press next It'll take us to the next item in the menu, programming schedule, 12-hour clock format again, Fahrenheit degrees, and then we get our auto feature, which is by default set to off. Use the up and down arrow key to set it to on, and then you can hit the return button to exit from the menu. Now that you have enabled the feature, in order to set it up, what you're going to do is you're going to press your system button to cycle your thermostat into the cool mode. And you're going to set a desired cooling temperature. So let's set this at, let's say, 74. Then you can press your system button and cycle it into the heat mode. And then use your arrow key to set a desired heating temperature. Now this temperature has to be three degrees less than your cooling temperature. So we're gonna go up to 71 since I set the cooling at 74. There has to be a three degree spread to keep the system from fighting itself. After you've done that, then we're going to press the system button and we're going to see in the upper corner system auto. And it's either going to say auto heat or auto cool depending on the last mode the thermostat used. Once it's in the auto mode, the thermostat will watch the room temperature. If it falls below our heating set point, in this case 71, the heat will be turned on. But if the room temperature rises above 74, then it will switch over into the cooling mode. This is how you have to set this up in order for this to work correctly. I also recommend disabling the daily program schedule if you intend to use the auto changeover. While you can use a program schedule with the auto changeover feature, you want to keep in mind 
that as your program events change and you have differing set points at different times of the day that you do not create a conflict that's going to throw the system or the thermostat into an opposite mode that you're not looking for. Typically when people use auto changeover it's because they're trying to maintain a temperature range consistently so a program schedule is just not needed but it certainly can be used with a program schedule if you desire. So you'll find these instructions posted in the description so that you can read along and set it up. Uh, I will also put in there the specific model numbers that this uh, feature applies to. Send me your questions in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Like and subscribe like they always say. Thanks for watching.